Israel's new government has now been formed and sworn in. It took two week, took weeks of strenuous negotiations that saw two political newcomers assume roles as Prime Minister Netanyahu's main coalition partners. But the compromise could mean his troubles are far from over, as Policy explains. He might have perfected the role of Israel's great communicator, but as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu enters his third term of office, like his audience, his powers of persuasion are shrinking. You need to watch the body language of how this coalition was forged. It changed from aggressive to disappointed. And after the disappointment, the anger will come. We'll see that in the open. What's already being seen in the open is that Netanyahu's new partners are not the ones he wanted. Former media personality Yair Lapid and representative of the Israeli settler movement, Naftali Bennett. They're everything he's not, young, contemporary and popular. He's panicked. Netanyahu realizes they are the next generation. It's like in a National Geographic film where the young lions push the old lion aside. They get the females and the future is theirs. But Bibi, as he's called, is nothing if not supremely confident. Over the past dozen years, he's earned a doctorate in defeat and how it may be avoided. He's a pro at welding together the broken parts so they can hold on for a little bit longer. He is um, driven by the fact that he has some kind of uh, paranoia. When you are paranoid, it makes you, it minimizes the uh, volume of mistakes that you uh, might do. And I think that he, when he always thinks that there's a plot, that some, someone is uh, uh, about to pull a trick on him, uh, he's very well prepared. Forced as he is to sit around a table with partners who might eventually signal his downfall. Netanyahu ran a confused campaign and a confused negotiation. Although he is very smart, very experienced, it didn't show. The goals were constantly changing. There was no planning. He needs to sit now and get his house in order. It wasn't that long ago that Time magazine crowned him King Bibi. The influential magazine ran with the headline that he's conquered Israel. But nine months later, it's not so clear whether Israel hasn't finally conquered Netanyahu. In the final act, the great communicator might not be able to communicate so great after all. Paulus Lear, RT, Tel Aviv.